Vaccination operates on the premise that we expose the body to a particular virus or a piece of genetic material from the virus, as is the case with COVID-19, and that the body then uh, kicks in an immune response and builds antibodies. The product um, in the vaccine degrades over time, so we don't anticipate any lasting effects. This is not like a typical drug um, that you take and expose yourself to on a daily basis. This is something we're exposed to twice, a prime dose and a boost dose, and that's it. All medications and drugs, not only vaccines, have to go through rigorous uh, looks through phase one, two, and three trials to make sure that they're efficacious, they're effective, and they're safe. The COVID-19 vaccine is one that keeps you from death. We know exactly what's in the vaccine. The, the vaccine man manufacturers have made that known to the FDA. Individuals now can go to CDC's website and look up what the actual ingredients are. These vaccines, they've been proven very effective as compared to others. Uh, the flu vaccine, for example, is typically 60 to 70% effective. But the COVID-19 vaccines are upwards of 95% effective. But there, there is that 5% window of opportunity for people to still become ill. If, if everyone were to be vaccinated, though, we, there wouldn't be circulating virus as, as much as it is now, and, and less virus circulating around means less chance of hitting that 5% window of opportunity. This isn't about you. It's about everybody else that you come in contact with. And so you have to weigh the risk of, do you want to transmit this disease? Do you want to continue wearing masks? Do you want to continually social, socially distance? Or do you want to have a normal lifestyle again? or a better lifestyle. We've lost 25 people here in our own community, uh, so it's important to be vaccinated to protect yourself, to protect your loved ones and anyone that you're, you come in contact with.